What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about King Vitaman. So this cereal was introduced by Quaker Oats back in 1970. Now they originally wanted to call it King Vitamin, spelled correctly, but the FDA forbids the use of vitamin for products that weren't actually vitamins. So they changed the spelling and King Vitaman was born. The original King Vitaman was a cartoon king animated by J. Ward Productions, the company that brought us Rocky and Bullwinkle and Captain Crunch and dozens of other characters. The first incarnation of the king was a feisty little guy with a large nose, voiced by actor Joe Flynn. In the ads for King Vitaman, the king would try to protect his cereal from his enemies, the Not-So-Bright Knight and the Blue Baron. He had some help though, his two good knights were Sir laugh -It up and Sir Cravenly. They were kinda like two big doofuses, but they meant well. The ads would often end with the king telling his knights to pour milk on King Vitaman, and then they would drench him in milk, much to his dismay. Here's a clip. Yeah, you won't believe this. I knew you wouldn't. Now, for your punishment, you'll watch us eat. Laugh it up, pour the milk on your King Vitaman. <laughs> Not me or Nincompoop, the cereal, the cereal. There were a handful of these cartoon ads for the cereal back in 1970, and this ad campaign ran for about a year or two before Quaker decided to switch it up. They replaced the animated King Vitaman with a real-life actor named George Mann. He wore a crown made of gold spoons and a checkered tablecloth for a cape. In the commercials with this new king, he would be approached by the cutest kids you'd ever seen, and they'd sit down and have breakfast with them. The tagline was, have breakfast with the king. King Vitamin, can you come out? I'm just on my way to breakfast. Will you join me? King Vitamin, have breakfast with the king. King Vitamin. He passed away in 1977, but he continued to grace the boxes of King Vitamin cereal until about 2000 when Quaker decided to switch it up again. They put a new, revamped cartoon king on the box. Now this guy looks nothing like the original, kind of looks more like a wizard. And there's no ads for him, so we can't really pick up on what his personality is. But he's still on the boxes of King Vitamin cereal today. Now you might not find this cereal in your grocery store. I feel like Quaker only releases it in certain regional areas. I got this one when I was in North Carolina. On the back of this box they have a hidden objects game. I love these things. There's a bowl, a horseshoe, an axe. And on the side of this box they have six riddles, which are all too lame for me to read the answers to. So let's open it up. So as you can see, the cereal is supposed to be little crowns, I guess. So here's what a bowl of this stuff looks like. King Vitamin cereal. It stayed the same since 1970, just crown shaped pieces. And honestly, it just tastes like Captain Crunch. Quaker has like one recipe for cereal and they keep reusing it over and over again. But hey, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? I have no idea why this stuff isn't more readily available, but it's obviously successful enough for them to keep it in production all these years later. So if you see a box of this stuff on the shelves, pick it up. There's no telling when they're going to cancel it for good. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. Have breakfast with the king. Cereal.